Hello everybody, it's me, Alexander, also known as the Sports Talk Guy. Anyways, so here we go, my first real video. Um, what's going to be happening is I'll be uploading a video once per day. I'll be recording mostly on the weekends, like six or seven episodes a weekend. And I'll be uploading them every day throughout the week. And that's basically it. Um, and some videos or some... Something I talk about might be just like a week or a week and a half irrelevant, and sometimes you'll be like, why are you uploading that now? Well, that's when I get to it. Anyways, here we go. First video. NFL. The League Championship Games. The AFC Championship Game. The NFC Championship Game. The Broncos versus the Patriots. The 49ers versus the Seahawks. Here we go. Probably the best two matchups you could have asked for left in the NFL playoffs. Granted, I'm an Eagles fan. Philadelphia. Oh, wrong way. Philadelphia. Yeah. Sad they lost to the Saints. Shit happens. It was a good year for them. But we're not here to talk about the Eagles today. We're here to talk about my playoff preview and who I think will win these games and go into the Super Bowl. Anyways, we'll start with the AFC. You got Tom Brady versus Peyton Manning. Two. They're the. They're in the top five of best quarterbacks of all time. They're playing against each other. Nothing gets bigger than that. Nothing. As of right now, you have to think about it. Tom Brady literally owns Peyton Manning in every game they played each other in, except for like four. And they've played each other like close to ten times. It's it's insane how much Tom Brady has it over Peyton Manning. But, as of right now, Peyton Manning has the all-around better team. I mean... He's right now. He's playing like the better quarterback. He has a better wide receiver core. He has a healthy and better tight end. He has a well, the only thing that he's lacking and that he is lacking and that Brady does have is his offensive line. Manning in the Broncos' offensive line is kind of weak compared to the Patriots, who have a fairly strong offensive line. And then on the defensive side of the ball, I do like the Patriots a little bit more. I guess both those defenses aren't really that good. This is, these are. Too offensively minded. Well, I shouldn't say offensive minded, because Bill Belichick is a defensive minded head coach. But those teams are both offensively stronger, so it's tough. It's going to be really close. I'm gonna. I have to go with Peyton Manning winning this and finally getting what he wants against Tom Brady. It's going to probably be a high scoring game, so I'll predict the final score to be. I'm going to go 38-34, and what's going to happen is my prediction is my prediction. Tom, or not Tom Brady, Peyton Manning's going to drive down the field with little to no time left and score the game when he touched down. It's going to come down to the wire in the fourth quarter. There's going to be no overtime, no extra bullshit. Just right to the point. And I say the Broncos are going to win the Super Bowl. Now to the NFC. The two young guns, Russell Wilson versus Colin Kaepernick, and two of the best defenses that ever step on a football field. They got the Seattle Seahawks, who probably have the best secondary ever made. And you got the 49ers who just play the kind of defense that you want every team to play. This is another tough one. This is the best matchup you could have asked for probably in the NFC. Probably the be currently the best rivalry in football. There's no rivalry better. The best ever? Well, in my mind, that belongs to the Packers and the Bears. The best right now, that's the 49ers and the Seahawks. These two teams, as long as the way these quarterbacks keep going, hopefully it's good. They will keep dominating that division, those two teams. And they'll back and forth year in, year out. They'll always win. One will win the division. One will win the wild card. They'll be probably seeing each other in the playoffs. They're playing three times a year then. That's huge. This will be the third time they're playing this year, or this season. And it's the tiebreaker game, the rubber match. And in the first game, the Seahawks won in Seattle. In the second game, the 49ers won in San Francisco. Seattle and their last, what was it, 15 or 16? They're like 15-1 and one at home. But 49ers are also good at getting it done on the road. Granted, the Seahawks did lose to the Arizona Cardinals at their place towards the end of the season. Which doesn't mean much now. I mean, look where both teams are at. Doesn't mean anything. The Cardinals didn't even get into which the Cardinals I like, but we could talk about that another time. That Those two teams, they're going to go battle each other. I predict... A low-scoring affair, and here's why. Well, first off, those two defenses are monsters. Secondly, Russell Wilson hasn't been getting the job done. It, I'm sad to say it. If you look at his numbers in the, that first playoff game against the Saints, they were ugly. That team wins because of defense. Now, the saying is, 
Offense wins games, defense wins championships, and that team, in my mind, is the team that's going to win that championship. The NFC championship, that is. Is the Seahawks. Now, but, on the 49er side, you have Colin Kaepernick, who, in those first two playoff games, played really well. I'm v- He did really good. He, I mean, he had a few hiccups here against the Panthers and whatnot, but, you know, that just happens. So... I'm going to have to take the Seahawks just because of their defense. Even though I think Colin Kaepernick's the better quarterback right now, definitely in my mind it's the Seahawks winning this. Their defense is just too strong. It's out of this mind good. And I think the Super Bowl will be Broncos versus Seahawks. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will be tomorrow, where we talk about something because I didn't think of what we're going to talk about next. Peace out.